There are a few things that labels are good for. There are a few things they're not. If it turns into bullying, that's a problem. If it turns into identity, cri identity crisis, that's a problem. Jimmy Porter and Survival Dead YT. Listen, man, I got a quick question for you. Uh, so we talked a little bit over the past few weeks, but just what's going on in the world today, man? I don't understand it. It's like everybody's got fragile egos. And you got anything you want to say about that? In talking with the other guys and in preparation for our upcoming videos about ADD and ADHD, uh, there is one thing that I wanted to cover. The autistic brain by a lady named Temple Grandin. This particular section, she talks about labels. She says, Labels for the right purposes of medicine, educational benefits, insurance reimbursement, social programs, and so on. Okay, now I know what you're thinking. Who is this dramatic, self-pitying kid standing up at the front who's going to lecture us about how society has somehow wronged him? The labels might be useful, but their usefulness depends on what you want to know. It's the difference between a diagnosis and a cause. Don't worry about the label. Tell me what the problem is. The differences are what makes us individuals. The departures from the norm, the variations in the brain. Label lock thinkers want answers. This kind of thinking can do a lot of damage. For some people, a label can become the thing that defines them. Others might be comfortable with a new diagnosis, but worry that it will define them in the eyes of others. Label lock thinking can affect treatment and label lock thinking can affect research. If it turns into uniqueness of perspective, and if it turns into creativity, then labels are okay. Labels don't always determine an outcome. In either case, labels make people who they are. Who are we to judge? I'm living my best life.